and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show the implementation of the eight channels with the uh, custom setup board for uh, the my microcontroller, the E70N19, which I have chosen. I've already shown in the previous video uh, how to uh, power it up. So uh, all the components and all the information that are needed to power up uh, a custom implementation of an MCU, of this kind of MCU. In this video, I have fully connected the system to the A channel and you will see in a moment everything is uh, fully working. But before to start uh, the video, I really would like to ask you to subscribe, uh, to hit the bell and to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it. For me, as usual, it means uh, a lot. Uh, so as usual, let's start uh, Cubase. As you can see, uh, the meter uh, uh, zero light uh, has uh, switched on. It means that Cubase is up. And let's run a track. There you go. This is a known uh, sense, musically sense track because it doesn't contain really music. It's just a track to, uh, uh, to where I have recorded uh, a lot of automations in order to uh, uh, stress test the system and verify that everything is working fine. Uh, I was also in need to uh, measure what, what is the uh, quantity of current that this system absorb when uh, it's uh, uh, fully working. And I have to say that it's, uh, uh, as I was expecting, it's uh, uh, quite uh, significant because we are around when, I mean, in the peaks, when all the lights are switching off and on, uh, when all the meters are moving and especially when uh, all the, the faders are moving, we are around 1.5 amperes. So, I mean, it's not, it's not really uh, peanuts. Uh, but uh, 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 let's bring to zero. There you go. As usual, everything gets in place. And then uh, we can start. As you can see, uh, meters, faders, buttons. I have recorded also some automation on the mute button here. And of course, I have recorded automations uh, on the pump pot feature in order to show on the V-pot. As you can see, everything is working fine. In this very moment, I can tell you that we are around 1.45 amperes of, uh, of uh, um, current absorbent. As I was saying, it's quite relevant. Here you have the implementation of the custom board. Different from the uh, previous video, I have added one uh, uh, additional uh, breadboard in order to have more space to work, but the implementation is absolutely the same. Here you have the connectivity for the USB, so you have the USB-A uh, connection here. You have uh, uh, one uh, red and one green light signaling uh, the RX data and TX data uh, going from and to uh, the uh, host. Uh, in this case, it, it, you see only blinking only the, uh, the red light because uh, the data that are flowing are only the data from the host, so from the PC to the device. Uh, then you see there is another two lights here. Red is a light that I switch on when the V bus, so the five volts is connected. Uh, and yellow is a light that I switch on uh, when, uh, the, um, uh, when the enumeration is completed. And when the enumeration is completed, and so the, the application is fully functional, I switch off uh, the uh, red light. Here you have a voltage regulator for the 9 volts because the entire circuit, the entire circuit is uh, uh, powered at 9 volts. 9 volts are needed for the authorized faders. Uh, so this is the higher volt. And then there are uh, a voltage regulator bringing this voltage to 3.3. Here you have the one bringing the 3.3 voltage for the E70 MCU. And then in each channel on the other side, so you cannot see, there is a voltage regulator that is bringing the 9 volts to 3.3, again, to power the uh, Sun D21 which are, which are inside each channel on the other side. One additional information, uh, while I was working in the implementation of the, uh, of the uh, custom board here, 
Uh, at a given moment, I noticed that uh, the capacitive touch was not working anymore. So just to make me understand, capacitive touch is, as I was showing already, is the fact that when I touch in, as you can see, a light here is switching on signaling that I'm touching and I can switch the channel. But then, uh, uh, suddenly this feature was not working anymore at all. As you can see, I'm touching and nothing, absolutely nothing, is happening. I don't see the lights here. So, what was the trick? Uh, I, it, it took me, I don't know, probably a couple of days. Uh, I was very upset because I really was not capable to understand what was the relation between what I was doing here and the capacitive touch, which is fully managed into the track. And then I finally discovered that in fact there was no relation at all and that the problem was completely different. And the fact is that the problem is this, that I'm uh, touching with my feet the ground. And probably this is changing the capacitance of my body. And so my circuits, or probably the way I set up my circuits, uh, 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 is, uh, uh, is disturbed by this. If I isolate my feet like this, you will see that voila, the capacitive touch is working perfectly. So here I've learned uh, something more, which really I, I never figured out. Uh, that's it. Uh, next step, I'm going to work on the uh, PCB for the, uh, for the uh, custom board. Uh, uh, and I will try also to share it with you uh, uh, in terms of, let's say, process and tools that I use. I'm using. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.